This is another in the first read series where I look at a poem by a poet I don't know or know very little about and just do a first reading for the sheer joy of it. This one is from the magazine Odalis, and it's Dave Reed, who I don't know at all, though I recognize the pieces, um, I think, at least I do, from a Facebook Asimic group. And so this is, I think, these are Asimic pieces. If you don't know about Asimic poetry, that's, uh, you know, where I ran into it is uh, years ago, it was the original theory was that uh, it would be poetry that looked like language, but wasn't quite language. It was like playing at the boundaries of what language could do or what seemed to be language. I like these pieces. Um, let's see if there's a title. I was going to look at that specific one. No, no title. They're just Semitic pieces. They all look pretty awesome. I mean, I'm not. There's no. Uh, or just a sheer joy of looking at them. Originally, I just want to stop at this one. Uh, I don't know if it is a title. It's not listed here, so I'm just going to look at it on this piece. I like this one quite a bit. Uh, I look at this one and I think, oh, yeah, it plays around with a lot of things that I think of. As being great with a cinematic poetry, so it's that boundary between, you know, poetry and visual art. Um, where is the boundary? This one it looks like it's made out of language, but I don't know if this is a real language. I mean, it looks like it should be a language. It's ordered and patterned, and I feel like if I spent enough time looking at it, maybe I would come up with some kind of order or pattern to it all, and it would kind of make some, you know sense in terms of meaning, but I don't really need that because it just looks interesting and cool on its own. It takes me to a place where I think great poetry does. You know, even like narrative poetry, when you you pull out of time and space for a second to exist in another time and space, you know, I think of like a you know, completely opposite things like, a, you know, a Yeats poem where he's talking about, you know, the Lake Isle of Innisfree or something like that, where you're pulled off into an image of nature and you're kind of outside of it, outside of time and space as you know it with the poem for a second. This one does that for me. I feel like we pull outside to explore these kind of alternating circles and they, uh, they're overlapping. Um, all of the, the symbols are on a line. So it looks like, well, are we supposed to read them left to right? Do we read in terms of the circles and colors, how do we understand how this piece works? But it's also so completely ordered in itself. So I feel like we're just kind of pulled into it. It's it's doing two things for me that that you know, like I really enjoy with poetry in the first place. One, it's pulling me out of time and space, like I said. But the other thing is it's pulling me back to where poetry starts in this kind of, you know, um, space, this creative space that's not pinned down doesn't need to be pinned down like you know you want a story to you know wrap up beginning middle end although you know life doesn't do that this is there i don't know if there's an answer to this i don't know if i have the key i'm just excited to have this experience of being pulled into this you know really intricate beautiful image that you know it's full of the symbolic language. There's so much, and there's so many repeating shapes. They're just looking through the lines here with my cursor. Like so many of these things repeat, and it looks like it could be a play on a lot of different types of languages, um, but I don't recognize anything that, that I know as a specific language. So they're very fascinating. Um, very interesting pieces. I mean, all of these are very interesting. I just, I think I could sit here and look at these all day without trying to figure out like what is this person trying to say it's not about meaning it's about the experience for me with it with the exemic the simic pieces so um fascinating like i said dave reed um there's so much a great simic stuff coming out right now this i really like though